Hey, what is going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be pitting two of YouTube's top food creators, Benji with Babish and Maddie Matheson against each other in a burger taste test. So basically how the video is gonna run is we're gonna watch their burger preparation videos, um, review them, look at kind of key differences and similarities. Then I will prepare both preparations and we'll do a side-by-side -side taste test to see whose burger reigns supreme. All right, so let's start with Binge with Babish's Basics with Babish episode, burgers. And we're gonna skip past the fries parts because that's not the topic of this video. We're gonna be focusing on the burgers only. I've got my preferred selection of meats here for grinding. You've got short rib, brisket, and sirloin. They're all bringing something different to the table, be it fattiness, minerality, or beefiness. And they're gonna come together to make a real- So I really like this breakdown of the different meats, and this is a really good thing that you can bring to burgers. Um, most ground beef that you get in a supermarket is typically just gonna be a chuck roast. Um, you know, it's a, it's a cut of the meat. You're not gonna have these three different key factors with the fatty short rib, the minerality from the brisket and the sirloin that provides just that raw beefy flavor. Um, so I really like the breakdown of the three different meats right here. A flavorful, fatty, beautiful burger. First thing we gotta do is get rid of the bone in the short rib if you... And then all he's gonna do here, I'm gonna kinda skip past it, is just breaking down this meat to be able to grind it. Um, so all he's doing is gonna break it down into like one inch chunks and then just remove any of the sinew or the silvery skin um, that's not gonna really grind well and it's not something that you want in your burger. ...that we're gonna then cut crosswise into about, place all this on a parchment lined baking sheet and freeze for 15 to 20 minutes to firm up the meat for the meat grinder, during which time we can get our burger accoutrement ready. Just going to very thinly slice some tomatoes. I like them about a quarter of the width of a sheet of paper and a few slices of red onion and last but not least some iceberg lettuce. This is the only kind of lettuce that belongs on a burger because it is nearly... So yeah, just uh, pretty basic burger toppings. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. Just lettuce, um, that tomato. He mentioned getting very thin slices, which is definitely a key for burgers. I hate when you get those like thick slices and everything's sliding all over the place. And then just some nice red onion to give it a little bit of a crunch. What I like to top a burger with, put whatever you want on there, but I reserve the right to judge you. Like if you didn't put special sauce on there, I'd think that you were a real true weirdo. And I will agree with Babish, I believe you're a weirdo if you don't use burger sauce. It's so easy to make and it tastes a ton better than just, you know, ketchup and mayo or something like that. Um, super easy to make, so I'm really enjoying that he's, he's gonna make this burger sauce. And special sauce is simple enough to make. Simply mix together equal parts, ketchup and mayo, maybe half cup each. Add a good sprinkling of garlic powder and onion powder. Then I like to add a little bit of smoked paprika, but you could use- And then I like the use of the smoked paprika in there. Um, just provides it, you know, a nice of that smoky flavor that's gonna really go well with the um, meat that we're gonna fry in the burgers. About it, just mix the whole thing together. Even if you just mix together, you promise. Give it a little taste, make sure it's good, of course it is. And then it's time to get down to the business of meat grinding. Now I've had my grinder parts chilling. And then now he's just grinding the meat, so I don't have a, this specific grinder. What I'm gonna be using to grind my meat is gonna be a food processor. Um, it works really well and gets kind of that same grind that you're looking for in the freezer with the no beef for burgers. Make sure there's no gray stuff coming out, which might indicate that your grinder is grinding metal. Make sure no. All right, so now that he's got everything ground up, all he's gonna do is just form these into patties. And he's doing about third pound patties, which I say is a pretty standard size. And then he's just gonna let those cool in the fridge for a little while. Um, it doesn't really say how much time, um, but it's while he's doing his fries, so we're just gonna skip past that. Do you want? It's your house. Once we've got the burgers formed, they can chill out in the fridge while we fit it. Let's move over back to the patties, whom are receiving a gen- And then, yeah, very important for burgers. You don't need much, but you just want to liberally season with salt and pepper. Um, it's really all you need. You don't need any more than that. And do it right before you're on the pan. He makes sure to point that out with some emphasis. That I love to do and that you should do for every burger that you ever make is toast your buns in some butter, please. I'm sorry. And then yeah, toasting the buns, I like getting that nice caramelization on the side as you bite through. It just provides a little bit more body. Um, obviously butter tastes good too, so it's definitely a good tip to use. Going on in there, add some vegetable oil to your cast iron skillet and get that guy ripping hot before. And me personally, I love the use of a cast iron skillet for burgers. Um, I find the grill can kind of break up a little bit and 
really just cast iron, you get that even heat all the way across. It provides a nice crust. Um, he uses additional vegetable oil, which I don't think is quite necessary, but um, like I said, this is Babish's rep episode, so we're gonna follow his specifications. We're going to almost immediately hit it with some American cheese. Hate on American cheese. And then American cheese, I feel like that's that OG classic for a cheeseburger. Um, and then this is a really nice tip right here. He's just gonna drizzle a little bit of water in to create some steam from the heat and then cover it just so that cheese melts gets a little even cooking that's a really good tip to use um, if you're making these at home helping the burger cook more evenly i mean come on look at that use an instant read thermometer to determine all right and there you have his burger so all i did was plate everything up so layers are bun lettuce burger onion tomato and then coming in with that special sauce on top. So we know how to make Babish's burger. Let's flip over to Maddie Matheson and kind of review it, see what some differences and similarities may be. And then I'll come back and we'll make both of these burgers and do the taste test. All right, so here we have Maddie Matheson. This is actually done for munchies and this is how to make a perfect cheeseburger. So let's start watching. Hey guys, I'm Maddie Matheson. I'm the chef at Hearts and Labor. I'm the fuck guys how to make a beautiful cheese. And just first look at these burgers, um, and kind of in the intro, um, a lot more height to them. I'd say the burger patty looks bigger, um, but yeah, it should be interesting. Burger, the best cheeseburger you've ever had. Here we go. Get it out of this fucking container. And then yeah, so similar to Babish, he is going to grind his own meat. He's using um, the chuck roast, which I said earlier is kind of the, the typical burger cut that you would use. Um, he doesn't do any of the freezing or anything. Um, he may have a better meat grinder. That's something to take into consideration why he doesn't do that. Babish may want to do that, but um, let's keep going. This is not no frills down on King Street. The thing that people always do is fuck with the patties. They put garlic in it, Worcestershire, parsley, crap, eggs, breadcrumbs. All you have to use is good. All right, so yeah, now he's got everything broken down and um, he really emphasizes, you know, you don't need to do much to a burger. We just want to season it with beef. You don't need to mix things with it. Um, I totally agree on that front. Make it into a fat patty so it's nice and juicy. You just kind of like use your one hand. And these are definitely a little bit bigger burgers. Um, we can see they've got some more height to them. See all this fat? These are all gonna melt away. So that's gonna create these little cavernous, crispy, fat fucking chunk pieces. And that is an adjective that only Matty Matheson could use to describe a burger. Um, I feel like that's one of the reasons why he, he just got a very unique style. And then you're gonna have a perfect fucking burger. So when you cook burgers, medium high heat in a cast iron pan. And again, very similar to Babish, medium high heat cast iron pan. Tastes like shit. So you're gonna just treat it like a steak, right? I've already said that. So we got the pepper. And then heavily seasoned with salt and pepper, very similar to Babish here. So the fat in here, you actually don't really have to um, There is a key difference here though. Um, Babish used vegetable oil in his cast iron, whereas um, Maddie Matheson says that's really like not necessary. Burger, burger, um, you know, we got enough fat in the burger itself. Um, and I would tend to agree there, um, but we'll see if there's any difference during the cooking. The best technique for burger toppings is not to make these big fat things that are gonna slide everywhere. I like yeah, I completely agree. I hate when burgers slide everywhere, so this is, this is a good tip. Need iceberg lettuce shaved up. And these are basically similar to Babish's toppings. He's got red onion, tomato, um, shredded lettuce, and then he uses pickles. Um, Babish used relish in a special sauce, so similar there. I got some pepperoncinis. I like it. taking a bite of the burger, take a bite of the pepperoncini, a little spice, a little heat. And then he mentions this pepperoncini trick where you kind of take a bite of the burger and then take a bite of pepperoncinis. And I have some, so we'll try that during the taste test. Um, see, see if he's, uh, what he's talking about there. Down underneath and it's starting to cook. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And then you can see he's got a really nice sear on these. Um, he said just like three to four minutes aside, he doesn't mess around with a the thermometer or anything. Super fucking crunchy on the top. The other component is obviously really good fucking buns. And then he makes a point here about the egg bun. Babish shouldn't really talk about his bun. It's just, he just kind of mentioned, hey, any burger bun you have is fine. Um, these buns are kind of a brioche bun with sesame seeds, so I grabbed some brioche. They don't have the sesame seed on top, but the egg bun should be very, very similar in taste. And the, the, like the Wonder Bread, the smush. I need to toast up some buns. Huge brick of American cheese. Cheese makes it creamy and fucking yummy. And then again, classic American cheese, can't beat that. Make it look like a Star David. 
The Land of Milk and Honey. Good movie. So we're gonna steam the burgers because we want the cheese to melt a little more. So we're gonna just add a little bit of water, put a bowl on top or a plate. Just steam for a little bit. And then yeah, same tip as Babish, throws a little uh, water in there to generate the steam, let the cheese melt. But you don't wanna cook them too much. Woo! They're done cooking, okay? See that steam? Hey world, cheesy burgers, what you know about it? And we'll dress these guys up. Yeah, and then it's all assembled, and those are nearly identical um, in the way that they're performed. Lettuce on the bottom, then burger, then tomato and onion, and then he comes in with those pickles and the uh, mustard and ketchup over top. No special sauce, Bur uh, Babish did use a special sauce on top, so that's in place of that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try these. Basically what we'll do is I'll throw a time lapse on, but I'll show you everything that I'm doing for both, and then we'll come back and have a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, so let's get cooking. Now the moment we've been waiting for, prepped both of these up. We've got Babish's on the left, and we've got Maddie Matheson's burger on the right. Uh, first look on an aesthetic, I mean, Maddie Matheson's just kind of dwarfs Babish's. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It was like an extra two ounces, made it a little bit higher. Um, the actual cooking process too was, I mean, pretty easy, pretty simple. I did like the tip when Babish actually froze the meat. They made it a lot easier to grind in the food processor. Um, as opposed to not letting it grind at all with just the chuck, which I did for Maddie Matheson. Um, but without further ado, let's taste test these things. All right, yeah, so took a bite, really, really good. Um, nice bite from the onion, really get that beefy flavor. You can really taste the three different cuts of meat in there too, which I really, really like. Um, and then that special sauce really, I feel like makes this burger and takes it to the next level. You really get that smoked paprika kind of on the back end too. Um, it's really nice. Let's give Maddie Matheson a try. Really, really good. Um, really like the extra cheese factor. And if you see this like cheese kind of crisped up on the outside, like that's a nice cheese crisp. It's like another, just amazing component to this burger. Um, the bun, way, way better than just, this is just a standard like roll bun. Babish didn't really specify what he wanted. Uh, but this brioche bun really takes it to the next level, just nice and soft and lovely. And then I really like the addition of those pickles up on top. Um, the pickles in here kind of bl blended in, so you don't get them as much in, through the relish, but 
from here you get that and you get the nice um, mustard on top too that gives it that extra bite. Really digging this. Gonna take one or two more bites of both and then kind of see which one I think is better. Also can't forget, gotta do the pepperoncini. All right, so all in all, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Maddie Matheson in this one. Um, the reasons why, the bun is a lot better. I like the extra cheese on the outside too, and just the overall size is a lot better. Um, also, I know it's pretty basic just with the lettuce, onions, and tomatoes, and you know, those pickles, but I like the pickles separately as two opposes in the special sauce. Um, that being said, I'm a huge fan of the special sauce, and maybe just, you know, let's try it. Special sauce on the Matheson burger, maybe that's, Maybe that's the combination I'm looking for. I think that is the ticket. So we'll say, Babish, you're a whiz with this special sauce. That is amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one to Maddie Matheson. Um, Babish's burger is really, really good as well. So definitely give both of them a shot. And this special sauce is freaking amazing. I will say that. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if you want me to try anything, any other taste tests, and see what that, see what we can do out there. That is going to wrap it up for me, and I'll catch you in the next one.